Yo, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In all my years of shooting film, I have never actually shot black and white film. So yeah, in today's video, I am going to shoot two rolls of black and white film, my first two ever rolls, and shoot Tri-X 400 and HP5. So um, I'm just gonna be walking around San Jose, just trying to do my best to create the best black and white photos I can. So bear with me if they're terrible, but. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start off with Tri-X 400 and then move to HP5. Let's load this bad boy in and we'll get to shooting. All right, this is the start. The first shot of the roll. I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Oh, first shot. So I'm pretending to speak about this camera. When in reality, there's a car to my left. Your guys is right. I don't want to take a photo of. But there's a guy in it, so I need to act like that I'm not actually wanting to take a photo of him. Okay, he's walking away, I can do it now. Just want to get textures and stuff, you know? Plus, the sun is hitting it very well. Alright, I feel good about that. I feel really good about that. Party. I don't know if those are pretzels or like orange peels and motor oil. Yeah, sounds like a great time, man. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. for Mercedes. This thing's sick. Oh, look at that Mercedes emblem, dude. Look what I freaking found. Holy great. Okay, cool. So I just finished off that roll of 400. I almost just opened that up again like I did in my last video. Oh my gosh. Um, I just finished that roll of Tri-X 400. So I'm gonna roll up the HP5 next and then go from there. I've been definitely taking my time with these rolls so far. And it's probably just because I don't want these photos to suck, so. First roll down. The 
it smells because this this roll smells significantly different than the other roll. I don't know if it's gonna be in focus. I think it was like right here, right? Jill wanted to say hi, everybody. Hi, hi guys. Hey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have something even better. Hey guys. <laughs> Look at my Christmas tree. <laughs> Alright. Do you have an outro? Oh, I usually just say peace. Make sure to like and subscribe really helps me out. It really helps him out. Listen to that. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, please. 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 I'm trying to not work a nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even work nine to five. Dude, you don't have to tell them that. So this is this cool, like, car. The shadows on it look great, so I thought this would be a good way to kind of do this for HP5. I've definitely been taking a lot of portraits. The portrait orientation photos. Look what I found. Another old car. So there's just homeless dude on the bike right now, going to this trash can. So I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of him. But I'm gonna act like I'm taking a photo of something else. I don't know if I got that. Oh, okay, well. I just finished off that roll. So yeah, I just finished that roll of HP5. So um, yeah, we'll see how it looks. Like I said before, shooting this was a new experience and I shot through these roll very slow. So hopefully I get some good ones, but we will see. But yeah, so I'm gonna develop these and then talk about them a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. So mainly I think there was two reasons why I've never really shot black and white in um, all the years I've been shooting film. One is I see the world in color. So it's easier for me to kind of envision what I want to take a photo of. And I think the second reason why I never shot black and white film until now is because in my opinion, I think it's way more prominent to see if your photo is bad or not. And I say that because people who don't really shoot film when they see a photo that is shot on film and it's in color, they're like, oh, that's a sick photo. But with black and white, you have to be really conscious of the shadows, the grayscale and the composition to make a really good photo. So I think that was one of the biggest deterrents because I'm not a great film photographer. I just do this for fun. But I was like, I have to shoot it sometime. So I decided to do it now. In my opinion, I think I got a pretty good amount of good photos out of these two roles. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me shooting black and white film for the very first time. 
Um, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it so much. Um, you guys can follow my film Instagram at jubilee.film or follow my main at jubilee.santos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.